today's video, we're going to learn how to create fly through text for free. But first, we're going to have to watch the intro. For those of you who are watching my tutorial for the first time, my name is Fazan and I post videos here on video editing tutorials. So if you are into this kind of stuff, consider clicking the subscribe button and also hitting the notification bell to receive notification whenever I post new tutorials here. So in this video, we're going to see how to create a fly through text in a video when we are moving the camera forward, you know, like in a drone shot. This is an effect which is very useful when we use drone footage or for travel videos or videos with a gimbal when we want to move forward and we see the text coming in and for that we will use a free plugin i'll give us the link in the description now let's jump into final cut pro 10 and see how it's done now when we want to change the position of the text in the inspector window we can only change the x position and y position by default and as you can see here we don't have the z position now why do we need the z position because we can change the x position or y position it only moves the text position from left to right or from top to bottom or vice versa but through z position we can move the text forward or backward like when the camera is moving forward and the text is coming in and if the camera is moving backward then the text is going further away from the camera when you move forward the things which are far away come nearer to you and when you are going backward the things which are near to you are going far away from you and in that perspective the things which are coming in they are bound to increase in scale because of the vision because of the perspective and the same rule applies when you're going backward i mean when you're going away from the pro from the object but through z position we can move the text forward or backward by default you can do that so which is why I have a title for you in the description of this video and it's totally free. Cool right? After installing the plugin, restart your Final Cut Pro 10 but I'm not gonna do it right now because I've already done that. I've already installed the plugin. Open up the Titles and Generators tab. I've already did that and find Fly Through Text right here and drag that title layer onto the clip in your timeline. And now we're gonna have to make it short. Just drag it from here and match the length. Now highlight the title layer and type in whatever you like. In the inspector window, click here and type your text. I mean for this example, I'm typing fly through text. Change your scale. And it's font if you like. And uh, if you want to, you can change its tracking too, but I think that's better. And click on all caps if you like it or not. It all depends upon you whether you like it or not. All right. Also, you can change its color from here or you can make it in a 3d text or just make it in an outline yes you can see that and close this uh, face option and can turn into an outline so i'm not gonna do that right now it's another topic uh, i'm gonna cover it next i mean maybe in the next video or maybe in the maybe after that i don't know when i will uh, make a video about it but surely i will do so click on this and also you can drop a shadow right there. but that's not my point here place your text onto your screen wherever you like like right here now click here this title inspector highlight this clip change its z position i mean like this like right here and add a keyframe on position you can also click on here show horizon in this view drop down menu so that you can perfectly align the text right in the center of the screen all right now place your playhead at the very end of this clip and highlight the title layer and adjust your z position 
see this now that's not what i want like right here and again there that's it done this effect is look like this let me play it see this i think you guys might have noticed that there is a little bit of delay in our animation as soon as we play our clip let me play it again see this right but fret not we can fix this select your title layer and press ctrl v on your keyboard to bring up the video animation window or you can just simply right click the title layer and show video animation see this fly through text click this drop down menu and select position and right click this keyframe and choose linear on both keyframes like this and, uh, that's it let me play it again I don't know that you guys have noticed it or not. You can also turn this effect into some sort of a transition. Like this, let me show you. Now I'm gonna play it again. See this? Now guys, why did we choose linear from smooth? It's because we want this animation a linear. I mean, I mean, we, we just want this text to follow the path, the coordinates or the values we've put in, in Z position or Y position or X position or whatever you want to call it. So that's why we choose linear instead of smooth. The smooth effect is, is look like a little bit realistic and we don't want it to look like a little bit realistic for this type of animation. I hope this video helps you and if it did, click the subscribe button and the bell notification button to get notified. And if you are new here, please check out the rest of my channel and if you like what you see, please subscribe my channel and also follow my Instagram for daily updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe. Adios amigos.